doing my PhD in physics, mm -hmm. uh, specializing in computational neuroscience. I did my major in biology and I'm really entering into a more quantitative field, so I think Lascon is a good experience for me. So we'd like more people to be involved working in computational neuroscience. We think it's very exciting. It's, it is very exciting. Nobody understands really very much at all about the brain. The brain is important. We can all agree on that. And so if we could understand stuff, uh, we'd be happy. So I encourage the students to think very liberally, think new thoughts, try to do something very different than what I've done, what the other teachers have done. I had this dream of having a school here in Latin America because there were some Latin American students attending those schools in Europe or US, but there are few. I know there are more people here. There's a kind of repressed demand for that in, in, in our continent. So actually in 2005, I believe, I was in a conference like, like that with a, a guy who was the organizer of the first American uh, school like this in the 80s. Jim Bauer. So he put me in contact with people who work on programs, on neuro simulators, and then I invited them. They came to, to, to Ribeirão Preto, to Brazil in 2006, and then we, have, we had the first one there. And then I noticed that it's possible. Actually, it's possible to do something in Brazil which works. Here they're working in teams, and so they may be able to combine their expertise, you know, one from biology, one from physics or math, and try to build something together. And that's, a, you know, the, really the best way to learn is through hands-on experiences. Mm -hmm.